This morning, an unmanned rocket is on its way to the International Space Station with supplies. The spacecraft launched Thursday from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. The area is known as a relaxing getaway spot, but as Chip Reed shows us, a unique partnership is helping to put it back on the radar of space exploration. On the remote eastern shore of Virginia, visitors have long been drawn by the wild horses of Chincoteague, by the stunning sunsets, and by the sounds and serenity of nature. Three, two, one. But lately, there's another sound that's growing louder than ever before. We have lift off. Because at the NASA launch site here, business is booming. It's, it's like nothing we've seen. It's, Bill Robel is the director of NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. A lot of people who live within a few hours of here yeah. didn't even know it existed. Right. Uh, is that going to change? I think it already has. It's changing because while the U.S. government has been launching smaller rockets here since 1945, now Wallops is going big. The rocket launched Thursday is carrying nearly one and a half tons of supplies to the International Space Station, food, tools, and some science experiments, including one by this group of high school students from Pennsylvania. How many people, let alone teenagers, have the opportunity to say that they sent something into space? And all that cargo is being carried by a rocket owned and operated not by NASA, but by Orbital Sciences Corporation, a private company working under a $1.9 billion contract with NASA. This was the first of three launches by Orbital this year, with another five to follow through the year 2016. Frank Culbertson is the executive vice president of Orbital. Was there a time when this would have been done by the space shuttle instead of a private company? Absolutely. With the retirement of the space shuttle, NASA needed an alternative way to carry cargo. Culbertson also spent 18 years at NASA and is a former shuttle commander, but now he sees a big future for private industry in space. If you think about a team going to the moon or to Mars, they're going to have to have cargo. They're going to have to have other modules to live in or provide support, and the commercial companies can provide that. In the local community, businesses relied for years on sales pitches with wild horse themes. Now they're adding rockets and space. At the Island Creamery in Chincoteague, the new ice cream flavor is rocket fuel. And at the popular Bill's Seafood Restaurant, owner Steve Potts is getting creative. We did a deep fried moon pie, and we also are developing a, a galactic martini. For a lot of people, it's very exciting to see their first rocket launch up close and personal. People like Larry and Lucy Eckstein of Western Maryland, who drove five hours to get here. Wow! <laughs> wow! I, I thought, this is awesome. It's an unusual combination for attracting tourists, rockets and wild horses. But on the eastern shore of Virginia, it appears to be working. For CBS This Morning, Chip Reed, Wallops Island.